Hi guys, it's Christy with Christy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing a reading for Sean Mendez and his future spouse. Now, this is a reading that was requested, so let's dive in and see what's going on. I'm going to do a card for Sean and one for his future spouse. Okay, well, he's getting three, it looks like, House 9, House 2, and House 11. So let's start with house two. Well, nine came out first. So let's do nine. This is um, philosophy. This is how you may see things, um, ethical uh, belief systems, religion, that higher uh, mind or higher self or astral travel, I'm almost getting, or just travel. So spiritual growth. So there you go. So this is beautiful. I like this because uh, I feel like with this house here, um, he's definitely going to propel his energy forward. Uh, I feel like this is going to be like um, maybe even, and it's funny because most celebrities, believe it or not, are spiritual. They may just not make it known that they are. So house two is about the stability. This is about what he possesses materially, um, what resources and values he may have. So physical security, so possessions, material values, and self-worth. So that's interesting that's coming through. I feel like knowing that he needs to uh, have that self-care, I like that for him. And house 11, which is humanitarian, being that one to really help out friends, that person that likes that like-minded groups to be in, and the humanitarian beliefs. So I like that for him. I do, however, want one of these. Ah, oh, Yod, Destiny, hello. <laughs> so all of these houses will affect his destiny. These may be lessons needing to be learned in these groups, or these are ones that he's really perfected. Um, not sure how that really sits with that, but definitely close to destiny here. So things are going to shape up for him. Uh, he may be getting on his uh way to whatever he's destined to be doing, which we kind of already know is possibly the music. And then um, definitely um, things that are going to happen for him are going to be destiny related. So maybe he has a mission to do with his future spouse. We have revolution. We have solar eclipse. So with the 44 coming in, this is ascended masters. And I feel like whatever this is, it may be uh, about that uh, time of, um, how do I want to say that? Um, <laughs> um, it's almost like a, a cycle needing to go full circle. Uh, for his spouse, we have, yeah, there's that change, the lunar eclipse with the change coming through. And these are ascended masters coming in for his spouse. Um, the lunar eclipse is that uh, balance in spirituality here, maybe reflecting on the journey of change in that uh, spiritual uh, aspect and then we have mercury which is about the mind and mercury for um tarot is the way you think this is the magician so this is trusting in the, her abilities uh to master all the elements and manifest so um speaking things into existence and we're going to do one of these trying wow angelic support harmony and perfect Hello, it's that, uh, I feel like almost like it's divine timing coming in at that exact time that it's meant to. And this is where it comes through. And these, the trines are all about um, good things that are coming. Uh, these are rewards or benefits or blessings, if you want to, if you'd like to kind of say about that. So, and then we have house five, passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. So it's funny that this is a little bird singing on here because he is uh, a songbird, uh, sings, and um, I feel like this is his passion. So it may be somebody that shares that passion. 
they may want to play like children in a sense of um, that ebb and flow and that uh, awe of the world and having that confidence in their creativity. And whoever this is, I feel is uh, right along with them in this. Oh, we got six house and a routine. So it may be some type of song routine that there's meant to be doing here. Something along those lines, doing something together, and that looks like it might be song. So let's just see here about any obstacles that are coming in for him and then his person. Let's see here. We have giving money. So he may be giving to charities, giving uh, money to friends, family, or loved ones. Let's see here. Fake smiles. Okay, so this person may have somebody giving them fake smiles. They're not actually happy for them or her about getting together with him. So this may be out of envy or jealousy. Ah, thief taking the money. Now this is, wow, robbed, lost. So there may be somebody in his energy that may be taking from him emotionally, physically, um, money-wise, some type of loss or theft. Well, oh, bankrupt. What? So whoever this fake smiles are coming from, they don't have any money. And that may be why they are um, in her energy, her this future spouse that is taking from her as well. Wow. Okay. So jackpot. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. So winning money, get got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. So no matter what these two people in their energies, both their energies, um, Sean Mendez and his soon to be wife or his uh, future wife, um, even though they may be getting taken advantage of, they're both going to uh, do well regardless as part of this uh, karma for these people. They're not going to be able to get what they can from them, um, and they're just going to keep winning no matter what. <laughs> I like that. And that's part of their karma is watching them go together and have this money together and keep winning. So I, I kind of like that. I, I think that's justice. <laughs> so let's look at the telepathic messages they may be trying to send to one another. Moment. Think of a special moment that brought you and your partner a lot of joy. And this may be they haven't met yet. Um, we don't have feelings in there yet. So this may be looking at joy and thinking of somebody or thinking of whoever's out there for me. Um, thinking in the moment, I can't wait to meet you. It's going to bring my heart full of joy. Um, and then all oh, admiration. So it's time to think about everything you appreciate about each other. So you both may know that there's somebody out there that you're talking to, but you may not know who it is. Love conquers everything. And that is what's coming in as this person. So he's looking for that love and tree. Tell the tree what you really think. And this is spirit. In the ancient times, people went to trees. Uh, certain trees mean certain things. So the elm tree uh, meant something specific. The oak tree meant something else. And it was certain beliefs or certain religions that went to certain trees or you went to certain trees for certain reasons. I, I can't remember which. I'd have to look that up again. But I, I thought that was really interesting that the tree had such different meanings to everything. So let's have a look uh, at the bottom of the deck. And wow, look at this. It's an internal and unbreakable. I feel like this is a past life, so I wouldn't be surprised if that comes up. Let's have a look at how they feel when they meet each other. They know there is some type of connection telepathically. Wow, there's that moment again. We're getting double cards here. Think of a special moment that brought you much joy. And once they meet maybe go for coffee and they're going to look back at those moments of the messages they were sending to one another. I like that. 
So they are, they may have felt lost at the time, or they're kind of feeling lost now, maybe because of the things going on that are obstacles in their life. Um, I feel like they're going to find the way through on this. That's what the card says. And they're going to respect things about each other and relationships in general. And I like that because I feel like uh, there's some moments that are being uh, learned here, regardless of who this is. Let's see. Yeah, there are challenges and they are receptive to what fate has planned for them. So I feel like this is kind of saying, um, they're going to go along with God's plan or spirit's plan, whoever you believe in. Um, I don't have a religion, but I, I lean more towards the Christian faith. Uh, but then in some ways I, there's things I don't agree with. And um, I feel like it was all just kind of uh, man stepped in there and started putting in their own little two cents with everything. So it, it, I don't know. It just seems kind of different. Anyways, um, nothing against uh, any religions or anything like that. I just don't have one. And I feel like I'm more spiritual. I believe in a higher up, a source, someone that is there to help guide us. I, I, I believe we get reincarnated and that we go and have multiple lives. I mean, when a three-year-old, I mean, I was watching some of these shows of afterlife um, experiencing near-death situations. And it's like people were coming back and experiencing um, things. And they would look up the information. They would say their name. They're three. Okay. They're, they, they, they're three saying who they used to be saying the name, they look them up on Google, and sure enough, there is the tragedy of where they lost their life. Their name is there on the manifesto or uh, the log of whoever was on the plane or the ship or whatever disaster it was. Maybe it was an earthquake or whatever the case was. And they could verify what the child was saying. And, it, and they would bring in people that knew the person like with the one that I watched. And it was amazing that these people were uh, friends with the person that lost their life. And they were conversing as if they were old friends. And this person was had grown up to be, um, I think they were 13, by the time they realized who this child was, like this was a different one. Um, wasn't the three-year-old, but he may have said it when he was young. And then he grew up not knowing and still having these dreams and not wanting to go near buildings or whatever the case was. And it turned out he was in the Twin Tower uh, thing in New York where the plane crashed into the building. And he died there and he worked in the building. And it's funny because he had a conversation with the guy that worked there as well, knew the guy who he said he was, and they showed him a picture. Yeah, that's me, you know, um, my older self. And it was kind of, because <laughs> he was younger, he's only 13. And then yet he's pointing at somebody that was in his 40s. So it was, it's just amazing to me how that all is that, that you can't, there's just no way that this child's going to make up all these things, um, especially at a young, young age how are they knowing this information? So, and I know things that I don't know how I know them. I just know them. And it could have been from my past life that I learned. We bring that consciousness with us. We are uh, energy and we remain energy. We just can't see the other side of the coin, uh, let's say. Well, some people can. So, especially if they're a psychic medium. So let's see what dreams are coming through for him. Sorry about that little side track. <laughs> um, time. Okay. So there may be some emphasis on um, Shawn Mendes' uh, dreams about a certain time or something to do with time, maybe running out of time or wanting to. Yeah, something's bugging him about time. Time wasted, time I don't know, something to do with, I feel like it's almost like the biological 
clock, but <laughs> yeah, it's bugging him that he's fighting with somebody in particular or feeling like he's trying to kill all these bugs or, and it's like, it's almost like a warning here, maybe about uh, these people that are thieves of taking from him. So let's just see about his person. What are they dreaming about? Ah, the exceptionality. And that's funny, this card came up in another reading as well. So did the bugs. And falling. Okay. Falling, uh, maybe in love, feeling like, oh my God, I'm putting, I'm so vulnerable. And then loneliness. If I fall in love and it doesn't work out, I'm going to feel so lonely. I'm going to feel so isolated. And then we have money again. Wow. So money is a huge thing um, that's coming through as part of people seeing them do well. And um, this is what they're dreaming as well, that they may are getting some messages from spirit that they're going to be okay not to stress about it. So maybe falling out of money, maybe falling out of love or uh, some kind of problem areas for each of them and it's almost like um there's some type of uh connection between the two as long as they're together they're gonna make a lot of money <laughs> it's almost like that and I, I don't know if that's how that's coming through but it, it's it's kind of really reverberating here or the vibration here is like really um strong with that money we have wars and battles in their uh, past life. High priestess. So having some gifts here. So it looks like Sean may have uh, spirituality in his uh, lineage or uh, all-knowing of some sort of uh, prophet or um, that foresight here. A oh, monk or nun. So it was in reverse, so maybe... They, and we're thinking about coming, becoming a monk. Uh, he was maybe thinking about becoming a monk, possibly in his past life. Maybe he was very religious, uh, had that sight of things, and maybe he felt those were messages from spirit that he was meant to share as a priest or a monk. Now we have for her Atlantis. Okay. This is, oh, way back in the galactic, um, ray. this is way, way, way back, this person, yeah, has a trust and faith, a star seed here, so definitely going to shine bright in the era of Atlantis, and vows, wow, so they both may have been uh, taking vows of um, from spirit or from, as a nun or a monk, in way back when, in those times so let's just see <laughs> we'll do some tarot cards as well so let's just see what angels are coming in to help sean mendez and his future spouse wow angel of romance okay that's a lot though i'm only gonna take them okay i guess i'll take them all all right we have romance release fertility and healing so i feel like um this may be having to release any baggage and then fertility growing something together maybe even a child um and healing any uh past issues uh they're definitely going to come through for that we have 16 that breaks down to seven we have 31 that breaks down to four we have 28 that's 10 or one and then we have 25 which is seven Let's see what else we have. Divine timing and number five, which the 32 breaks down to five. We have the parking angel here. Wow, this is crazy because this is uh, something similar to the last reading I got for these cards. Divine timing and parking angel and being patient. So having to uh, be patient, hurry up and wait in a sense of not being able to move forward until spirit says it's time to do so. And Angel of Clairsentience, having some gifts here on her side of this uh, foresight or this clairsentience of being able to feel um, these this energy. So 
uh, or spirit. So this is interesting. I like this. Um, and then we have the angels of the, of the animal realm. So they both may really love animals or have an appreciation towards animals, maybe even helps animals in some capacity. So let's just do some tarot on all these top cards here to see what's going on. So the passion, the confidence, and this is house, um, I believe it's five, right? Yeah, five. And uh, this is all about um, that kind of, um, that kind of love and stuff, you know, creativity and having fun and that child's outlook on things and even sex. So, okay, so that should have been this way because I only have it in upright and uh, I will notice that it was king of swords in uh, reverse. But when it comes to this, I feel like um, perhaps there was some type of control issues or something here, but uh, being truthful to self now, I feel, is a big thing here. So let's just see for both. Get one more card. Wow, Empress. So being truthful about who the Empress is for him. So he knows that the, whoever this is, is also a songbird or is somebody in his industry. So jackpot, show me what jackpot is all about. Is this some type of karma? King of Wands, this is very attractive um, with this because I feel like uh, their vision here is what's leading this ambition and taking leadership and authority. They're doing what they're meant to be doing. Or they're just taking action towards their vision. What about the connection? Um, seeing their uh, vision coming to life here down below, there are the ships coming in. And I feel like this is all to plan. Like things have been planned. Um, seeing what creative aspects there are with this connection, I feel like with the three of wands, uh, whatever troubles this is here are ending. So this connection can come together. Yeah. Despite any confusion about choosing the choice or choosing wisely, um, feeling like maybe there was some type of illusion here, uh, regarding this. So let's look at the admirer. We have strength. And we have celebration. Um, this could be third parties trying to sneak in there, having the courage, but admiring what they like about one another. And I feel like this is more celebration, celebratory type of energy, that emotional connection here, um, and that team playing type of dynamic. Wow, we have the emperor. So leveling up to a higher position. What about money? Yeah, putting all those burdens down. I feel like um, with all of the falling and all of the things that are going on here that they're dreaming about, they're going to put those burdens down. And I feel like it has to do with being a wounded warrior. They are more likely looking at, it, at themselves as a survivor. What about vows? Yeah, having that victory. So maybe even in their past life, they learned things that they were meant to learn. Uh, I feel like when it came to one another, let's just see. Yep. Ace. So they may have teamed up in their past life as well. So angel of animal realm. So temperance is kind of saying that maybe this adventure hasn't come into fruition just yet. Uh, this may be uh, yet to come. So we have that temperance of being um, patient. Uh, I'm getting with that hopeful and harmony, peace, life purpose even. Yeah, fighting for uh, what they are really confident about or wanting, taking that action, ready to seize the moment and being um, unstoppable it's kind of being very hopeful that this is going to 
go through, they're going to take action. Um, they are thinking about it and they're actually uh, getting ready to go forward. They're charging ahead. So, oh, we didn't do the outcome. So let us look at the outcome for Sean Mendez and his future spouse. What is the energy of the outcome, please? Oh, finding that commitment. I like this. So definitely finding a commitment here. And blessings are coming through. And this one wanted to come. And there's the animals again. It's really coming through on both sides. This because I feel like there has something to do with the animal kingdom and maybe even traveling, uh, maybe helping with adoptions or having some kind of um I'm kind of getting with uh maybe even some speaking out about. Uh, animals needing to be adopted, um, traveling to certain places to have certain animals being adopted or getting help. So let's have a look at travel for these two. Finding that commitment, I like this. All these things are coming to an end for this door to open. I feel like this commitment and yeah, a lot of desire here may even be a Capricorn. And having that decision, um, it's going to be a tough decision almost because um, they're at a crossroads here. And why is that a crossroads? Oh, <laughs> thinking about going further with that marriage card, that four of wands, that happy home and love is in the air. And look at that. They're going to be very wealthy as well with the King of Pentacles coming through. They leveled up to Emperor and Empress. I like this. I feel like there's uh, a lot of love here as well. Um, and building things together at this team that's going to be unbreakable once this comes together. And it may be a little time before this does, but when it does, it's going to be unbreakable. It's going to be something that's really, um, the foundations are going to be built solid. <laughs> I like this for him. So anyhow, this is what I have for Sean Mendez and his future spouse. So please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe if you haven't done so already. If you'd like to donate, you can in the description box below or the super thanks or just watching the videos. I appreciate you guys so very much. Um, thank you so much for all of the support you give, uh, all the ongoing support you give. And uh, if you do want a personal reading, get in touch with me through the description box there it has all the information you need, because all you need to do is email me and I will let you know my process of how I do my personal readings. All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. Lita.